Hey everybody, what's happening? And happy Homebrew Wednesday. I haven't done a Homebrew Wednesday in a bit, so I think you're going to do one. Got a little package. The uh, good friends from UPS today, courtesy of my good mate and fellow brew tuber, Kevin Clements. Let's crack this bad boy open and see what we got going inside. Cheers. One thing I will say, I've said it many, many, many times before, not one word is community. Kevin didn't have to send me this. He did it out of the goodness of his heart. Let's crack open this box and see what we got happening. All right, where's my knife? Here's my knife. Oh, open this end. I follow the instructions on the box. dear oh dear oh dear no way it is always wicked to get beers let's just crack this open and see what we got going on see a lot of these beers I can't get up here so this is like a friggin treat and a half <sighs> under chaos milk stout from too far gone brewing oh, with peanut butter It's a nice little tape job up there. All of these bottles have arrived awesomely well. And this is a SMCS from 2013, 11.6 ABV. Holy smokes. That's going to be the evening ender, I think, there for Sammy. Oh. CCS. Under the table. No, under the Oh, for the love of Pete. I think maybe one of Kevin's SJ pours from last year or the year before. I'm not sure. CCS. From Clements Homebrew. Oh, I'm going to have to get some further information from Kevin in terms of what these beers are, but I'm like over the moon. And there's something else. Oh, oh, it is! That bugger! Oh, this is, if this is what I, oh. <laughs> Packaging is like obscene on this. Son of a gun. And not, no small feat. Get this stuff unwrapped. Jeez Louise, Kev. Clements Home Brewery mug, which will have a place of revenants in the brew shed. And actually, tomorrow morning, I'll be sipping my tea out of this. Wowee. Wowee. I can't believe this. This is just absolutely, this has just been the greatest way to end a crappy day at work. Kevin. I honestly, mate, I cannot thank you enough. This is just amazing. <sighs> Absolutely incredible. I am at an absolute loss for words. It's truly humbling when, when your friends that you've never personally met, you talk to them basically every day online and they're brothers. And then you come home and there's a package waiting for you from them. It's just absolutely inspiring. I'm at a loss. At a loss. Anyways, Kevin, cheers to you, pal. I'm so stoked. Hey, everybody, what's happening? Sammy the Third Brewer coming at you, and happy homebrew Wednesday yet again. Apologize for the lighting in the basement, it's not that great, but we'll see what we can do about making it work. What an exciting week I've had! What an amazing, exciting community-based week I have had here at the Thrifty Brewer household. Not only did I get some wicked beer mail from uh, Kevin Clements at Clements Home Brewing, as you previously just saw, but also I just filled up this. 
which is what we call the Canadian Beer Exchange. So this is going to head out to uh, Vancouver to uh, Jason Toes next. I received it graciously from Brandon Glover, who gave me uh, a really wicked uh, milk stout, as well as some amazing, amazing beers. And I apologize, Brandon. I did not record not one review of them. Um, the beer was wicked. Um, and the pale ales you sent me, I think they're like from Kensington Brewing or something like that, but they were just oh, so good. So my apologies, brother. I will try and be more prudent in my reviews in the future. But so now what we're doing is we're just kegging up uh, pale ale. Uh, finished off at 1050. Final gravity. Oh, see, this is what's really cool. So it's 1.89 liters or 64 ounces of beer. That's going to be added uh, 10 and a half grams of dextrose to that. That's going to carve up in the in the large traveling growler there and be ready to go in about two weeks so we finished off at wow really 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 dry using us05 we finished off at holy smokes 1004 must be drier than a fart in the sahara ladies and gentlemen wow either way i'm sure it's tasty actually let's just take a little sampley poo oh i got this thing here so we need a little bit of time to condition and log her up a little bit in the keg while it's on gas. Cheers. Mmm, flowery, which is nice. This would be a really good summer sipper, I think. I'm pleased with that. Jason, you got to let me know what you think about that, buddy. But uh, so far, I'm, uh, I'm pretty keen with that. Pretty down with that. So anyways, you guys, I'm going to finish off kegging this. <coughs> Excuse me, I know this has been a little bit impromptu this week. My apologies for that. I'll be working on the brew shed, planning out some electrical, um, which will be upcoming in a later video this week. So exciting times there. Just planning right now and uh, setting the budget for the electrical because that's going to be the most expensive part, at least for the, uh, for the interim. Um, and you'll see in the upcoming video as to why I'm doing it in two stages. Not two-phase, although I wish I could do two-phase. All problems would be solved if that was the case. But two stages. So yeah, this is where we're at. So yeah, a little bit boring this week. Again, my apologies. Um, and if this is your first time watching any one of my videos, I do encourage you to subscribe. They are not always like this. Um, I release a new video on Wednesdays and Saturdays and read every single comment and reply back to them as time permits. Anyways, you guys, this is Sammy the 30 person. I'm going to do something. Do it with the homebrew. By all means, keep calm and brew on. Most importantly, please be safe. Cheers. Take care. All the best. Thanks for watching. Be safe. Cheers.